So you're hitting high shot on the left versus low shot on the right. Uh, both being hit 70 yards, both being hit with the same club. Uh, both shots went the required distance, there or thereabouts. Uh, just some differences to note. By playing one club to the same yardage but with different trajectories, um, you start to see that on the left, when you want to hit the ball higher, you start to push up a fraction earlier. You start to flex the lead wrist. So the arc length is a little bit shorter on the way through. The butt of the club doesn't get as far away from you. When you're trying to flight it down a little bit, and we saw that your vertical launch historically was sort of 30, 40 degrees. Uh, we wanted to try and bring that down a little bit to 30 on occasion. We see a little bit more shaft lean at impact on the right, which means a little bit lower loft at impact, which means a slightly lower launch angle. And the act of doing that has created a slightly longer arc length, flatter left wrist, etc. etc. So your your options when you're practicing are if you wanted to use the 70 yard scenario, you can try and learn to hit 70 yards with each of your wedges. So you've got a consistent yardage but always changing the club. The other thing you can do to just vary it a little bit is you can hit your 70 yard shot with one club which might be a desired club like a 56 or a 52 whatever whatever it is that you like using but learn to play with three distinct different trajectories so trying to play a high one a mid flight and then a low one so just play around with it try and move around um, as much as you can in practice so that you're applying some variables some of them maybe at setup some of them maybe a little bit more to do with the dynamics of the swing.